Hey, game developers, uh, new game developers, everyone out there who's watching this video. If you noticed, I haven't posted a video for a very long time, but now I finally have time, and I'm planning to make a new uh, series of videos on finally touching on um, the basics of Unity and creating a first-person shooter game through Unity. So I'm going to make a whole set of tutorials on how to make this, and I hope you guys watch it, and this helps you hopefully to make your game in the future. So right now, we're going to start with a new project. Um, in this first video, I'm going to basically show you the, the really, really basics. If you um, have no idea how to use Unity or any other game de developing softwares out there, this is the video for you. Even if you have really good experience, this is also a good video to watch just to start. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be posting more videos on this, getting more advanced and uh, eventually into scripting. So, right now, um, to start off a game, of course, we'd need a terrain, like, uh, surrounding uh, for where the game will take place. So, we're going to go to terrain, create terrain. That's very simple right there. So, we've got a really simple white terrain. Kind of boring. We don't want it like that. So, first thing we want to do is import a game asset folder. So, you go to assets, import package. Now, this is really important. So whenever there's a lot of packages that are good um, to add into your game, you just go to assets, import new package. This is really it's a useful tool. So first we're going to um, import character controller, which is basically the first person controller. Without this, we can't go anywhere. So um, we're importing character controller and we're going to just go import for now. We're just going to import train assets. This will enhance the way our train will look. Now, um, one of the editor uh, extensions you can get is the Terrain Toolkit, which I have. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make mountains and everything. It's really, really simple with the Terrain Toolkit. So we're going to start with, you click on the terrain, and you've got all these um, tools here. So you click on the first one, and let's go to this one, brush size. Let's go 100. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's move around. So let's say we want to make a mountain here. We take, uh, we go into the terrain and click on that. There you go. Nice and simple. Really, really simple. There's a lot of brushes, like rocky kind of texture. And the more, this is really, really simple part. So you can experiment this like by yourself. You, know, when you get more used to it. It's up to you how you make this. I'm just going to make a really, really simple mountain here. Okay, so. There we go. Let's make a little mountains here. Add in some rocks. Well, not really rocks, rocky texture. We'll add in rocks later and trees and everything else. Now we made this really, really simple terrain. Now, um, as you can see, the texture is still like a white kind of texture. So we want to make that uh, better kind of texture. So in the terrain assets, uh, it came with textures for the terrain. So you want to go to the, um, the paintbrush and edit textures, add texture. And when you go up to here, you see this little circle, just click on that, and add in any of these textures. Let's just go grass and rock for now. So add in grass and rock, as you can see, it added a texture. It's a little dark, so we wanna go to this help tab, search um, ambient, oh sorry, okay. Actually, we're gonna go to um, game object, create other uh, directional light. Yeah, so we're gonna make the lighting. Uh, this is totally based on your opinion. Uh, I want, I like it to be a little lighter. So I'm gonna make it a little lighter. Uh, there we go. So as you can see, it's it's got a little texture here for now. We're gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add another texture to make it more complex. Uh, yeah, let's add it to a grass texture. So once you've got that, you can experiment that by yourself, so you add in little spots of grass. So uh, for now that's good, um, what are we going to do now? So now, basically, uh, we're going to create the con character controller. Before we do that, and uh, not create the character controller, we're going to basically create like the environment of and what the objective is in the game. Um, but right now, uh, let's just add in some trees. I'll show you 
trees and grass. I'll show you how to do that. So you'd want to go to the trees to add in trees. It's just the tree symbol. Add a texture. Add add tree just like you add in a texture. Um, so you click on this little circle again, and it comes with palm trees, the terrain essence. You can get other trees as well, but for now we have palm trees. So let's add in some trees here. There we go. Wow. So we're making a jungle here. Uh, so we've got a lot of trees. You don't you don't have to bunch them all, but you can go brush size to one. So add in a single tree at a time. You can do that as well. Uh, if you want like a tree here, tree here, tree here. So for now, that's good. That's a huge jungle there. Um, now we're gonna add in grass. So you go to this flower kind of. It's kind of straightforward. So just like any other, you uh, add a grass texture. Click on the little circle, and let's add grass. So there we go. We've got grass. Whoa. So you won't see it since it'll kind of clip it from far, but once you zoom zoom in, you will see the grass. So don't worry. Um, right now, it's kind of not visual. It won't show you where the grass is, but once you start playing in that area, it will stop clipping it. So just to tell you guys. So right now, we've got this kind of area where the player is going to play. You can experiment with the area yourself, but I think that's enough. So right now we're going to add in a first person controller. So we go to character controllers, first person controller, and just drag it in, drag it in, and double click on the hierarchy, which will just basically zoom it into the player. As you can see, there is the grass that I told you about. Uh, mattering on the scale of the grass, let's just make the player a little bigger. Let's go three. There we go. Uh, make sure, this is very, very important, make sure the player, um, the character controller is above wherever you're going to be landing. Because if your player is under, then you'll just sink through the map. So now let's just test the map. So we'll just click play. The play button, and there you go. Well, um, so we've got a little terrain here going. Uh, some mountains there, huge jungle, millions of trees. It's not really realistic how the trees are set up, but all that is um, experimenting by yourself. Uh, now, as you can see, the player is moving really, really slowly, which is very unrealistic. So we're gonna make the player. We're gonna edit the player movement now. So to edit the player movement, you want to go to character controller, but first person controller, sorry, and uh, click on it like right here, and go to movement, under movement, uh, go to, let's just add a max forward speed, go to 20, sideways speed 20, backward speed 10. Uh, I would usually go half of the forward speed for backward speed, just make it more realistic. So um, keep the slope multiplier how it is. Ground acceleration, I'd go 30. Um, air, keep that in the same gravity, full speed 30. Now let's test it. Hopefully that's better. There we go. Uh, that might be a little too fast, but as you can see, um, we just edited the uh, character controller movement speeds. So, um, like any other thing, you can experiment uh, with that, like with yourself. So, um, whatever fits for you for your game. So, um, basically, that was the basics. Uh, this was video one. I will be making a lot more videos. So. Um, keep uh so subscribe so if you're not subscribed and uh, keep watching and look out for these videos that i'll be making um this is very very basic i will be getting into more advanced stuff later on and i will be using my first person shooter kit that i made for free and some good news for people out there um i will be making a second first person shooter kit which will be almost 10 times better than my first one Includes better textures and everything, so that might get people excited. And I will be releasing it, and again, for free. so uh, stay, stay subscribed and uh, follow my videos. And I will be posting uh, my videos. So thanks for watching this video. See you next time.